Hey everybody, Sean Christie here, and today we're going to continue with the series Objections When Sharing the Gospel. And if you haven't watched the original two videos on sharing the gospel, Law to the Proud and Grace to the Humble, I highly recommend them before watching any answers to objections. Today the objection is when someone says they don't believe in hell, or maybe they don't believe in heaven either. So you're talking to a person and you ask the question, would you consider yourself to be a good person? They say yes. You take them through a few of the Ten Commandments and use the law of the Lord to show them that they've broken God's commandments and are, in fact, not as good as they may have thought, at least by God's standards. You ask them, if God judged you by the Ten Commandments, would you be guilty or innocent? They say guilty. You ask, so do you think you'd go to heaven or hell? And they say, I don't believe in heaven or hell. And many will follow this up with saying something like, I think when you die, you know, it's just over. Now, for somebody who doesn't believe in heaven or hell, it is hard to convince them that it's real because they most likely don't believe in the Bible as well. But remember, the purpose of witnessing is not to engage in an intellectual battle to convince them of something they don't believe in, because only God can bring conviction on a person. So what we do know is that the law of the Lord is perfect in converting the soul, as it says in Psalm 19.7. So our goal is to prepare the soil of their heart and plant God's perfect seed of truth to help them understand that Jesus is the solution to sin and not having to go to hell. So if they say they don't believe in heaven or hell, one thing you can say is, well, your non-belief in something doesn't negate its reality. If someone says they don't believe in gravity, they may be really sincere about it, but it's not going to change the fact that if they walk off the roof of a building, gravity is still going to run its course. A non-belief in something does not make something cease to exist. So for the sake of argument, let's just say if there is a heaven and hell, and you were guilty of breaking those laws we spoke of, just like I have, do you think you'd go to heaven or hell? Hypothetically, that is. And hopefully they will answer. But some people are more difficult than others to communicate with. This is just one answer we can offer that has been successful for me in the past. We have to remember that the enemy loves to create prideful arguments that break off into rabbit trails away from the main topic of salvation. So we must keep things on track. Once again, this is just one way to answer. But maybe you have a helpful answer that you've used in the past and can share it with others in the comments below. If so, then please do. And if you've ever run into a situation or had a question that made it hard to continue sharing the gospel, then please leave those questions below or email them to revealingtruth911 at gmail.com and we'll try to learn and answer these questions together. We try to go through one each week. But we'll keep this short today and until next time, take care and God bless.